Shall I start? Hello. Uh, can you clarify, first of all, how many players are injured and how many players are unavailable due to COVID for this game? Uh, no, I can't tell you exact numbers, uh, but obviously the situation is like that, uh, that we for the game tomorrow. We have a squad, we have a team, and we can play and we'll try to win this game. Okay, why can't you uh, divulge the numbers? Yeah, there's a difficult situation out there. Uh, we had, uh, obviously, a couple of injuries, illness, COVID cases. Uh, and yeah, this is the situation we have to deal with. Uh, and we still have to wait for a few results as well. Our players are not here for today, so they have to do their test uh, before they can join the building uh, for today. And this is why I can't speak about the exact numbers. And how is Jurgen Klopp? Could he be on the touchline tomorrow? Uh, we hope so, of course. Um, uh, he is well so far. He feels fine, but uh, of course, as well. And again, uh, the regulations are how they are. And for this, uh, uh, he has to do uh, uh, tests as well. So, And we hope that he will be fine to be in tomorrow, yes. Just finally from me, given the situation, missing so many players and uh, a few with the African Cup of Nations as well, does this affect your plans for January? Do you need to bolster the squad, do you feel? Uh, this is, of course, a long-term club decision, but uh, we take the situation like it is. We always try to do our best. And um, yeah, so... Um, we knew about the situation already since a few months that especially the African uh, players won't have, will have to play this uh, tournament and hopefully successful. Um, so, uh, but the COVID situation is like it is. Uh, if there's, uh, if it is necessary to re react on this situation on the transfer market, it's of course a club decision, but we have to discuss that. Okay, we'll go to Chris Shaw next for the next two, please. Hi, Peter. What are you expecting from Shrewsbury this weekend? It's only a couple of seasons since you played them, but obviously you've changed them and they've changed them in part as well. Uh, yes, so Shrewsbury, of course, will be uh, a tough opponent. Uh, tough because of their quality. Uh, this is a team uh, they play uh, uh, proper football side, so they... Uh, um, play quick forward. They want to attack us for sure. They have threats and strong strikers. They have direction in their game. Uh, obviously, they have a compact uh, uh, defending formation for sure. Uh, it's a team which is uh, well managed. You can see that. It's uh, uh, yeah. They will have their targets, and uh, our situation is not ideal as well. So we train now since yesterday again, and uh, we will try to prepare as good uh, as possible for this game tomorrow. But of course, we are looking forward to. Uh, we'll have an exciting team tomorrow on the pitch, and we hope that we do as well as we can. Just in terms of the team, I know you said you can't give too many details, but are you likely to have to lean on some academy players like you have in the Carabao Cup? Uh, yes, um, as well. And uh, on the 23s, we had a couple of, or a few uh, COVID cases uh, as well. Um, a few players are back now again and can join the squad and we will choose a team uh, yeah, which is able to follow our football way. So uh, we want to play a proper game tomorrow. This is the idea, uh, following our ideas uh, of defending, being compact, being aggressive, uh, chasing the ball in the moment when it's possible. And of course, uh, playing good football, attacking wise, playing forward, attack the goal. Uh, and then uh, we will see what will the outcome will be okay before we go to chris coughlin i've got no other hands up so if you want to ask a question please raise your hand um next we go to chris coughlin please hi peter hello um how excited are the youngsters to get this chance i know you mentioned that there'll be a few involved at least but how excited are they to get this opportunity at anfield 
Yeah, I hope I hope that excitement is the right word for that. Eh? So uh, looking forward to that game. Um, I hope they can't wait until the game starts. And uh, this is the opposite of being nervous. And of course, we try to make them as confident uh, as they should be and as focused as they need to be. Uh, and this is what we uh, that's the way how we try to prepare them for that for that game. So um, in football, it's always like that uh, it's not about uh, trying to avoid mistakes it's all about the reaction on mistakes so can we expect a perfect uh, setup for tomorrow no of course we can't but we can always show uh, the right and the perfect reaction on what hap- what is happening on the pitch so uh, this is what we try to do a proper t- team performance uh, with experienced leaders in the team and young players uh, uh, who will get this fantastic experience to play at Anfield and feel the support of our supporters. Okay, we'll go in order on the screen. So we'll go Paul Gorse next, please. Hi, Peter. Hello. Uh, I just wanted to ask, uh, can we get a kind of sense of how difficult it's been this week for everyone at the club with so much uncertainty around you know, what's gone on and, and how, how it kind of all unfolded this week, because it has been a bit of a surreal, bizarre week for the football club. Uh, of course, you can believe me. This was bizarre. Yes, we came in a situation which was uh, too difficult uh, um, for all of us. So we were in a situation we had to stop. We had to shut the uh, training ground down. Um, and of course, uh, yeah, we we always tried uh, to play our games, to win our games. And uh, but this situation became too difficult to deal with. And uh, of course. At the same time, we try to be as quick back uh, on uh, in normal circumstances. So, um, yeah, this was a busy week somehow, even if we were sitting at home, but the mobile phones were glowing, <laughs> if you want. Uh, and, uh, yeah, this is the situation we faced, and this is the situation we, uh, we are searching for solutions. Okay, Joe Bernstein, next, please. Hi, Peter. I've got, I've got two, two questions, actually. Um, First of all, did you consider um, bringing any loan players back? Was that in your, your thinking because you were so short of numbers or did it not get to that stage? Um, and secondly, Liverpool, Shrewsbury, in normal circumstances, Liverpool will be hot favourites. But do you think this is a, a very much a 50-50 game or maybe even Shrewsbury are a slight favourites now? Okay, and first, of course, uh, uh, the situation with the loan players. Uh, yes, we have one loan player back. Um, um, and uh, he will probably join the squad uh, tomorrow. Of course, we are searching for options for this game and for the squad for tomorrow, uh, nearly everywhere. Uh, but we found enough players to build a team and to have a squad for tomorrow. Um, and yeah, this will be an exciting game tomorrow. Uh, I already told you, that I think that uh, Shrewsbury is a good team they will try to cause us problems and it will be uh, uh, yeah our task to find solutions to face this this situation to uh, yeah find our way to play football what we want uh, still we have the idea of being dominant uh, on the pitch and still we have the idea um, to win the ball as quick as possible on the pitch and still we have the idea to play proper football combined playing forward uh, find finishing situations this is what we are going to try but we know it will be tough okay we've got time for the last couple here so we'll go to simon mullock next and then finish with paul joyce hi peter thanks for your time um could you um obviously with the training ground being closed play, players still have to train um, could you t- take us through the process of how you do that? Do you do it in small groups away from the training ground? Do you do it individually, Zoom meetings, you know, team meetings? How, how, can you take us through the process of how you keep the players fit during a week like this? Yeah, so uh, training grounds closed and shut down means nobody can come here of course Um, but of course we try to stay in contact during these times with our players like we did during the lockdown period uh, uh, one year ago or uh, even longer Uh, so of course there we try to use the modern media uh, options 
to stay in contact one uh, second thing is uh, of course there are no groups which can group together um, means as well everybody is on his own and uh, thanks to our really really great working athlete department around about the team of Andreas Kornmeier uh, we were able to to uh, find solutions for the players so the ones who were allowed to go out uh, of course of course they could go for a run outside uh, if you are not allowed because of quarantine at home uh, we try and to we tried to work with these players as well giving them an individual program daily day by day uh, and so this is the way we tried uh, to to keep them in in shape okay and to finish off paul joyce please Hi, Peter. Um, Alison Firmino and, and Joe Matic, Mr. Chelsea game, are they available for this tie? And is it possible to clarify which is the lone player you've brought back for the game, please? Mm -hmm. No, I can't talk about names. Uh, please understand my situation. I can't talk about that. Uh, Jal Matip uh, joined training yesterday again, um, but we have to see if he is available for tomorrow or not. Thank you. Okay. Thanks very much, everyone. Thank you for joining. We'll see you all tomorrow.